Okay, now that we've already seen how to make uh, frequency distributions and graphs, in this video we're going to look at, to see how to make measures of central tendency in R. And so recall that in an earlier video we already brought in our data set from SPSS. We stored it in a um, data frame called data set. Let's now just kind of uh, look at the namespace of that data set once again. And if we look at our output window, we can see that we have the following variables, year, ID, child, age, education, um, sex, race, and so on. A number of different variables that we can, we can look at and work with. Okay, so um, in R, if you want to make a, uh, a mean or a median statistic, we can just use the mean or median functions respectively. And so I'm going to start by making the mean of one of the variables in the, in the data set education. And so I'm going to use the mean function. I'm going to use it in conjunction with the object uh, data set, which is basically the data frame containing the variable education, and then the education, which is going to be our variable. And of course, they're separated by a dollar sign, which is an R convention. I'm also going to use a, um, an option with this command. Uh, the option is na.rm. That means basically it's going to remove anything that's not applicable or missing. And I'm going to set that equal to true. So that means that, that when I perform this command, I want it to exclude the missing cases. If I didn't do that, uh, the resulting value in R would be missing or na. And so I wouldn't get any kind of useful information. So I'm effectively only running this command on the valid cases. And likewise, I can do the same thing with the median command to get the median or the 50th percentile, right? So I'm running it on the object dataset eduke, which, which identifies the data frame and the value within the data frame in which this is run. I'm also going to remove any non-missing cases with na.rm. So if I run that, and then I look at my output window, so I can see that it calculated a mean of 13.53 if I round it for education with a median value of 13. So let's say that I wanted to do this for a number of different variables. So what I could do is basically uh, first just make a data frame that only includes the variables that I want. So I'm going to call that new data. And so before I do that, though, I'm going to create another object called my varrors, which is basically just a uh, vector with only the variables that I'm going to include in the new data frame. So let's say I wanted to run the, the mean and median commands on, on three variables, sex, class, and education. Uh, I can use a vector to, to uh, specify those variables. Again, this is case sensitive. I'm going to save that as an as a, as a object called my varrors, which again, is just an arbitrary name that I've used. And then I can basically make a new data set that uses a subset of those variables. And I do that in the following way. I, I basically specify the existing data frame, and then in square brackets, I'm going to put the names of only the variables that I want, that is, the values of the object, my varrors. And so if I run that, um, R should recognize that basically as, as a new object. And so if I look at the namespace of my data, it should only be those three variables that, that uh, I've created. And so we go down here, we can see, yes, the namespace that includes the, 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 the values of new data are sex, class, and education. Only the three variables that I want. Now what I can do is I can basically use um, the sapply command to run the means command on all of these variables at the same time. So rather than doing it one variable at a time, I can actually run it on all of the variables. And so uh, I'm going to use this sapply uh, command that applies some f function to some data object. In this case, the data object is going to be my new data data frame. Uh, I'm going to imply the mean command. So it's going to basically run the mean for each of the three variables. And again, I'm going to use the uh, na.rm option to exclude the missing data. And so this is going to be basically run the mean command on all three of the variables in new data, excluding the, the missing data in each case. And I'm going to store the results as my varrors.means. And I'm going to do the same thing with the median. I'm just going to s apply to the median rather than the mean, but everything else is the same. Um, so I'm going to run that. And then if we just go down to the output window, we can see that these are being stored. And so we'll look at the results in just a second. OK, um, one thing I'll, I'll say is that uh, the mean command probably will not work on, on factor variables. So if you have value labels in your data set and you brought them in from SPSS, uh, 
R is probably going to treat them as if they're uh, factors, not numerical variables. So you'll, you're going to have to convert them to numerical variables using the, the uh, as.numeric function. Um, I showed how to do that in an earlier uh, video. So just go back and look at that one if you're confused about how to do that. Now, what if we wanted to also get the mode? Well, it turns out that there's no uh, command in R for, for calculating the mode, but we can actually write our own function to get the mode. And so I'm going to write a new, op, a new function called getMode. And I'm going to use the function command to indicate that I'm creating a new function. And this function is going to create uh, um, this getMode command. And it's going to also have one argument. So I'm going to uh, call that argument v. So here I'm just basically showing that my new function is going to take a single argument. Now, the actual lines of code that are going to be run as part of this command are going to be what's between these curly brackets. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the unique function to figure out uh, if any of these uh, values that are going to be fed into my argument, which is basically just going to be a vector that I'm going to feed into it, are unique. And then I'm going to solve, I'm going to uh, basically save them into an object called uniqv. And then with that object, I'm going to figure out which of them is the, is the maximum, which of them is the, is the most um, uh, highest value that occurs after I tabulate all of them uh, and I match the, the, the vectors to anything that's unique. Right? So basically, it's looking for uh, which of these things are unique and which is the most highly occurring, which basically is the mode. So I can just run this and save it. Now get mode will be a new command that R recognizes. And then I can use the supply command with the new data on the new get mode uh, function that I just created. Now notice that I, I can't actually make it limit uh, to, to non-missing cases. Um, I'd have to make my, my function a little bit more complex and, and I don't want to do that to just to make this a little bit more simple. And so I'm going to run the get mode command on my new data with the supply command, just like I did with the mean and the median, and I'm going to store that as my var var's mode. And if we run it, it's going to save it. And now, basically, the, the last thing I want is just a count of the total number of cases. And so I'm going to use the same kind of idea. I'm going to create an object called myVars.total. I'm going to use the supply command on my new data, just those three variables. And I'm going to put in a, a, um, a, a function command that's going to calculate the number of um, valid cases for my mean, median, mode, respectively. Right. So um, this is basically a nameless function. It's going to take one argument x, and then the actual function is going to be right here. I'm, I'm going to basically find the length of anything that's non-missing. So this is the not um, operator. Is na is just asking is how is is what is it is not missing, and then which is basically going to select only those cases which are not missing. And so if I run this command, my var's total is going to give me a count of all the non-missing cases um, in my in my uh, data set. So now I can just print those things. I'm going to print the values of the means, the medians, the modes, and the total number of cases. I'm going to use the r bind command to bind them into different rows so that they're matched up row by row. And then I'm going to, with the print command, I'm going to use the th digits three option to only show three digits. So if we run that, and then we scroll down uh, to our output window, so we can see that we've got some results. So for sex, we have a mean of 1.55, which of course means nothing. It, it, uh, for a nominal variable, you shouldn't be taking a mean. Uh, for class, we have a mean of, of 2.39. Again, that's some number that falls in between categories and means nothing. For education, we have a mean of 13.5. The median for sex is going to be 2, but of course that's not so meaningful because it's not a rank statistic. For class, it's also 2, and that's going to be working class. And then for, for education, the mean is 13. Uh, the median, I should say. Now, the mode for sex is going to be 2, and that's, that's actually women. For class, it's 2, that, that's working class. And then the mode for education is 12 years of education. And this just tells us how many cases we have to work with. So 1,974 one, for sex, 1,957 for class, 1,972 for education. Okay, so going back to our, our syntax, uh, now we just put it all together. I'm going to actually make a data frame. I'm going to call my data frame uh, sent dot dot tend. Uh, so this is basically the, the um, 
the different statistics that I just calculated. I'm going to put them into a data frame, and I'm going to create four different columns for my data frame. One's going to be called the mean, and that's just going to have the values of, of my means that I created earlier. Another one's going to be called median, and that's going to store the object values of my vars mead, which, which I created up, up here. And then uh, the next one's going to be mode, and that's going to be equal to basically my vars mode, which I created up here. And then the last one's going to be n total number of cases, which is just the various total light, which I created up here. So I run this. This will make a new data frame. Um, I'm calling it sent tend dot tend. Uh, and now what I can do is I can basically just run this through the stargazer command. So remember, if you haven't already done this, just make sure that you you uh, bring in the stargazer library. So if it's already in, in memory, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, I'm going to run this just again, just to make sure I have it in memory. And now I can use any of the stargazer commands. And so I'm going to use the command stargazer. I'm going to run this on my data frame, sent.10. Uh, I'm going to make it a, a, a text uh, type. Um, like I said, there, there are, in an earlier video, there are a number of different kinds that you can use. Uh, text is probably the most basic one. LaTeX is another one, but I'm not going to go into the details of that. I want summary statistics. So I, I, I actually don't, actually, I'm sorry, I don't want summary statistics. So I'm, make this, I'm going to make this false. I just want the values that are actually listed in, in the data frame as they appear. And then I'm just going to add a title to make this look a little bit more publication quality. I'm going to call this table one measures the central tendency for my variables. And then I'm going to add a note saying that this uh, information comes from the 2012 General Social Survey. And I'm going to use two digits for all my values. So if I run that, um, it should create my table. And so if I just kind of scroll down into my um, output window, notice that I've got a, a kind of fairly nice looking table of, of descriptive statistics for sex, class, and education, including the median, median mode, and the total number of cases. So that worked really, really nicely. Um, an alternative way that I, that I could have done this is, is to use the stargazer. And instead of using the, the sent tend uh, data frame, which, can, which, which, it involve, includes the central tendency descriptive statistics, I could have run this on just the new data itself. And then all I have to do is just basically tell it that I want some summary statistics. And so I do that here. And I provide a vector of the statistics that I want, including the, the number of cases, the mean, the median. Unfortunately, it doesn't include the mode, so you can't do that automatically. And uh, the type I'm going to use is, is uh, text once again. And then I just had to include a title and, and a note. And if I scroll down, I get something very comparable to what I created earlier. The only difference is that they're in a different order. And of course, it doesn't include the mode because the mode is something that we actually have to write as a function. So that, that's not something that's included automatically as part of Stargazer. And so that's basically how to, to make measures of central tendency in R.